my friends, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my new subscribers. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul with name brand goodies. Lots of fun items arriving at Dollar Tree. So we're going to jump right in. I'm going to show you which name brands I found. A little oopsie that I did earlier on in the week and then just a couple of little Easter items that I picked up. Jumping right in, I found Prang. This was a $1.25. There it was sitting on the shelf and I could not believe my eyeballs. <laughs> These are amazing. You get 36 colors colored pencils in here, including a silver and a gold metallic. And this is big bucks. If you look it up on Walmart or Amazon or Target, just go ahead and do a little price shopping and you'll see how much these are selling. Not for $1.25. So this was definitely a major score. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside and then we'll give one of them a try. This is a beautiful, gorgeous set. Isn't that beautiful? Let's take out this one right here. And we'll check this out. I have my little scrap paper here from what I did the other day. So we're just going to give this a little scribble. How beautiful is that? Love it. So this is a really great buy. Definitely keep your eye out for these for $1.25. Oh my goodness. Now I agree these are not, you know, Caron Dash or the Farber Castells, but you know, $1.25 for praying is super. Her. All right, my friends, you might remember that I found these a couple of weeks ago, I think it is, and this is what they look like. As you can see here, you've got all the little characters. Super fun, absolutely beautiful. It's going to be perfect for my journaling, and this is what it looks like on the other side. Super simple, very adorable. That's actual Sanrio Hello Kitty. Well, yesterday I found the sister. These are absolutely adorable. It was the only one that they had. I I think the cat is out of the bag. The Dollar Tree is starting to sell Hello Kitty Sanrio because I'm telling you, I saw this and I scooped. So this is what it looks like. Watch the top corner. Watch this little corner right up there. This is where the magic happens and this is what they all look like. How adorable. So they are multiplication cards, but of course I'm going to be using these for everything but because <laughs> I'm not a big math fan. Um, I don't know. Half the time, my math doesn't math. So I'm just going to use these for journals and I'm going to use these for card making and paper crafts. But definitely keep your eye out for these, my friends. Hello Kitty Sanrio. I'm like, how is this in Dollar Tree? So there are these two that I have found. Of course, you might remember earlier, I found Winnie the Pooh. I found Dr. Seuss. And then not too long ago, I found Barbie. So there we've got item number two over here this has me so excited it's the design that caught my eye these are some brand new puzzles that they are bringing out 500 deluxe pieces it says they are thicker pieces and look at this design this was the only one that they had and i looked because i wanted to take one apart and possibly keep one as is this is the only one that they had it was very retro i love the vintage look to this it gives me almost like stamps or match boxes from when we used to get um matches in those little boxes back in the 60s and 70s anybody remember those or am i outdated myself this is from crazy art a dollar 25 this is what it looks like on the back i think this is just going to be fantastic for a lot of paper crafts that i'm planning to do again you can add this to so many different things let's open it up and see what it looks like because i have no idea and i want to see what these thicker pieces look like so so we're going to open this together. Even this box would be a great little journal. Just pop the end of this off, open this up, and use this as a journal. How cute is this? Whoa, these are small. <laughs> this is teeny tiny. Okay, so what I would do is I would get my son or my daughter to put this together with me on one rainy day or on a night they might happen to be home because that is a lot of puzzle pieces of course it doesn't go back in the way it came out but keep your eye out for these my friends they had a lot of crazy art puzzles super cute ones some were absolutely beautiful but this is the only one that they had with this retro vintage look i am love love loving that and next up this is a 
returning little favorite and I have seen these before and then they disappeared. Well, they're back, these Uno cards. Of course, everyone remembers these from when we used to do Uno and I am so excited that I finally found these because I looked for them last year and they just disappeared super quickly. All right, I'm gonna break this box because this is not behaving. Look how beautiful this is. And here are the instructions, just in case, uno to go. Here are little, I like that. That's nice that they included that, so we'll put that here. How adorable, looks like a little hotel soap. <laughs> you know how they wrap them in that paper. Little ASMR for you, gonna open this one. Very cute, I love this. Packaging is everything, let me tell you. There we go. And here are those Uno cards. They're so little. Remember, this is a to-go. So these are ones you take with you. And again, think scrapbooking, think card making, uh, ATCs. Lots of different ways you can use these little cards. You can even wrap some um, twine or, you know, take some, something just like this. Here's a little piece on my desk. And you could just wrap it like that and send it as a little, you know, the thing that the thread goes around, not a bobbin, the ones that are made out of paper. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so there is that one, the little Uno card. So I was super excited to find these name brands. All right, moving on to my stickers you guys might remember that I shared these with you these Maggie Holmes dupes well I started looking at them and I was like there's something missing I bought six and I looked back at the video that I had put up and there was only five and I was like what did I do so I went back and I looked I had already filed it away but this was number six and one of the cutest ones of all look how adorable this is a space themed one again I get these big big vibes of the Maggie Holmes just in case you're new to my channel this is what they looked like absolutely darling well here is number six and it says give me more space I need more space <laughs> which of course is a fun play on words of the whole galaxy outer space theme that's going on but that puppy is everything I love that little astro pup super cute out of this world and discover this world so there you go I did a little oopsie I bought six and I shared five <laughs> so you might have seen my short the other day these are back the little bunnies are back and this is the little white white chocolate I guess it would be and then this is the milk chocolate bunnies and I did pick up two more even though I already have my two from last year because I'm gonna send these to my daughter I thought she would absolutely love these little bunnies so I did go ahead and pick up a set for her it was funny I was in the register and the lady behind me was like where'd you find those where'd you find those so I did tell her the story about how this one flew off the shelves last year and I told her if you're gonna get one go ahead and pick it up because you will not find it once they're gone and there was already only probably 10 or 12 left lots of the white chocolates they didn't have very many of the milk chocolates all right I also picked up these shape uh, carrot shaped sacks which I thought were super cute and I picked up some of these last year I think I used them or sent them out in friend mail but I picked up another set for that little journal that I'm working on for my little granddaughter and I also got some of these adorable little felt sticker carrots I think those are gonna go great with the gnomes and the chickies and the bunnies and all the other things that I've already picked up I'm just gonna add these little carrots you do get nine pieces in there and it is from the crafters square and this is that beautiful family. I also did a short on one of these. You can head on over there and check it out. They had family, they had faith, they had love, and they had home, I think it was. These are all separate. So just in case you could not see that on the video, these are all individual. So let's check this out. I know I should not have done that. <laughs> that literally ended up right in my face. So here they are. This is going to be a new series that I'm going to do on my channel here called DI Wednesday. So instead of DIY, it's going to be DI Wednesday. And hopefully this one will be one of those things that you'll see 
flipped and that's exactly what DIY Wednesday is going to be. Anytime that I take something from the thrift store or, you know, uh, do a flip on an item, I'm going to add it to my Wednesday segment. Super excited for that. So stay tuned. Obviously today's Wednesday and it will start next week. So, and of course, I'm hoping all of you will join in as well. Take any item that you want to flip and use that hashtag DIY Wednesday. So there you go, my friends. That is what is happening at the Dollar Tree. Make sure you check out what's in your stores because it is super fun what I am seeing heading out onto the shelves. That's going to be it for this one. If you like my content, please consider hitting that like button. Subscribe with your notifications on. Leave me a comment. Helps me find your channel. And I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.